Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day number 16 of Autodesk Fusion. All right, today we're working on, um, hopefully, uh, a really cool thing, um, making a, an illusion. Using the spline and canvas tools, we can take an image from the internet, pull it off of there, and then create a profile easily of that, rather than trying to do it out of simple geometry. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Uh, the illusion I decided to make was that two-face cup illusion. Is it the cup or is it the two faces? And then, um, yeah, so I thought this was a really interesting thing to pull out. So how did I do that exactly? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, open up a new tab, and then I'm going to start a sketch on any plane. You could do any plane, really. Um, but what I'm going to do next is Canvas. So I clicked on Insert Canvas. With Canvas, this allows me to pull up an image um, that's not necessarily going to be part of my part, but it's uh, going to be something to use to reference. So I downloaded the file um, from the internet earlier today, and um, so now I have to select which face I'm going to put this on. And I'm going to do the same face that my sketch is on, and then I'm uh, going to blow this up just a little bit so to help me see this a little bit better. Now, uh, what I'm also going to do is help center it. Uh, see if I can move it over just a hair to get it more centered. Uh, looks about okay. All right. And then um, what I'm going to do from here is uh, create uh, this profile, and then I'm going to revolve it. But as you can see, there's some pretty interesting geometry going on in here with the nose and the lips. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create, um, I'm going to zoom in first, and create three lines going to go to that outside part, uh, going to go right down the middle, and zoom in just a little bit so I can see the bottom of that, and then go along the bottom here. So nothing so far is new. I've just created three lines. All I need to do is figure this outside geometry. I'm also going to make one more line here because that's just a, a simple straight cut. And then down here on the bottom, nope. Okay, so how do we do these curves easily? Well, what I'm gonna do is click on Spline. And so Spline allows me to um, easily fit the curve here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on the first point of my spline, which would be into that line. And then all I'm going to do is intermittently follow the curve of my, um, my profile. Now, when you get to sharp curves, it's better to do more data points for your curve. Um, that way, things don't get necessarily too rounded off too easily. And then once things tend to stay the same profile, there's a little bit more graciousness as far as uh, making sure your profile fits. So I'm just going to keep going along here. And then notice I have a sharp curve right here. So I'm actually going to end this line right here and you're going to notice a lot of geometry lines are going to pop up. You're welcome to ignore those and I'm going to click on spline and then start again because I know right around that lip point I'm going to run into some issues um, and since it was just too sharp of a turn um, I'm just creating a new spline there. So it looks like we're doing okay so far just following that overall profile of the face. I'm using my the center of my mouse wheel to drag, and so, oh, looks like that was too sharp of a curve there. So let's just keep on going here, and looks okay so far. Oh, that was a little bit too sharp there, so let's, let's go here. And you're welcome to do make this very detailed if you want to, um, or you can just do an overall shape. Now this would be really helpful. On, uh, for students trying to make things very particular like uh, from a video game or um, from uh, something particularly found online that when they want to repeat and, and throw it up in Inventor as well. Okay, now what I'm going to do is hit finish sketch. Now here's a couple things I know that this thing hopefully has gone well. Over here on the left I'm going to make that canvas disappear so we're no longer visible and I can see my side profile. Here's how I know a couple things went really well. The center part of my geometry here is light blue shaded, which tells me it's an enclosed geometry. When I go to revolve this profile, 
it knows it's one full geometry. All I need to do is select my axis, and there we go. We've created the two-face cup illusion. All right, guys, that'll be it for splines and canvases, and I'll see you on the next video.